came in to tell me what the words were for Sweet Jane, and he went on and sung it, you know, on the track. And I still couldn't understand what the words were for Sweet Jane. Bowie was great on Dudes. He, 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 the actual single, you know, it was done in two nights in Olympic yeah. in Barnes. This is when I first met Mick. I asked Mick to do an arrangement, um, a string arrangement on Sea Diver. That's when we first met. Um, ready for love. Bad company later on, right? Yeah. It's about it. It was done in Trident in London, you know. Yeah. I remember David showing my wife all his cosmetics and Angie coming up with clothes from all over the place. It was a crazy time, you know. My musical roots really go back a long way. I, I was um, trained classically, so I played uh, classical piano and violin and recorder. And um, and then I then I wanted to be in a rock and roll band. And I, um, I was playing the violin, and I didn't want to play the violin. I wanted to be a cello player. And they, before you can play the cello, they, you have to play the violin first, and then the viola and then you're allowed to play cello. So um, then I was listening to people like The Shadows or Dwayne Eddy. And, um, and Dwayne Eddy, when he played the guitar, because he played everything on the, on the bass strings, that was kind of very close to with the cello or something, you know. Cause, uh, so then I decided that I would play the guitar. So when I got a guitar, I played everything like on the bass strings like Dwayne Eddy, uh, because that was the nearest thing to a cello for me. And that's how uh, that's how I got started in playing rock music. Well, it, that all started um, around 1969, late 68, 69. And David was um, before that period. David was into doing mime uh, act on stage, and then uh, his wife Angela, Angela Boy. She was the one that kind of sped on all the, the kind of the dressing area and things. I guess a lot of people remember that because it was more like glam rock or glitter rock. And um, and she's the one that kind of pursued that that area. And um, I forgot what the real question was anyway. Um, what was the question again? The Rats was... Um, an R&B band or a blues band in Hull, Yorkshire. And uh, that was one of the first bands I was in as I was growing up. And uh, I really enjoyed playing with that band. It was it was really good fun. Yeah. We used to do a lot of co you know, we used to do cover material and everything, but uh, but just to, you know, be up on stage and play, I mean, we just had a really good time. Got into lots of mischief. That album was done, uh, it was kind of put together very quickly. It was an idea to go in and make an album. The whole thing was kind of put together very quickly. And um, we rehearsed some of the songs in the studio and we just played and recorded them and finished them and put it out. It was, it was a real quick, um, real quick album to do. But it, and it was really exciting because um, it was probably uh, the first real project that I was going to be working with after the, the fact of doing an album. I only ever played one album before, and that was a, an album by a, a folk singer from Hull called Michael Chapman. And there I was sort of brought down to London to, to play guitar on the album. But that was that was it. So when we did Man Who Sold the World, it was more like a career was beginning or something. That was good. Tony's idea was that like everybody was going to earn a lot of money, then we were going to buy Sony or RCA. That was the idea. My argument was like, when was when was this? <laughs> when was the payout? You know, we never actually signed to him. We had the contracts. I kept them in my piano stool. Kept on asking us for the contracts. For God, you know, stuff like that. Well, there's not a lot you can say. I mean. Maybe I should have earned more money than I earned. But I mean, that's, uh, it's kind of gone, you know, it's past. It's something that I don't uh, feel bitter about or anything. I, I don't see the point, you know. For me, I, I think the old point is what I'm doing now. And that 
you know, I've got two arms, I've got two legs and I can play and, and therefore I should live my life as such, do you know what I mean? And it's what happens now that's more important than what happened in the past, you know. Is it one L? Yes. Yeah. David, one, and it's finished. Have a little respect please. for the wishes, please. Okay, but one. You've had many. But you've had many. Thank but you. not 